In this video, the ESP32 controller, interfaced with BME280 sensor, is programmed as a WebSocket server, sending to a web page temperature, humidity, and atmospheric pressure readings. BME280 sensor is combined digital temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor. The temperature sensor is optimized for lowest noise and highest resolution and the range is between minus 40 Celsius to plus 85 Celsius. The pressure sensor gives absolute barometric pressure and the supply voltage is between 1.71 volts to maximum 3.6 volts which makes it a low power consumption device. For its low power consumption uh, capability, it is used in battery driven devices such as uh, handsets, GPS, watches, etc. A diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the BME280 sensor connected with the ESP32 using I2C interfacing. We also have an LDR connected to an analog input and a potentiometer connected to another analog input. The ESP32 controller is programmed as a WebSocket server, sending this web page to a browser. And on the web page, we can see the measurements coming from the BME280, which shows the temperature, humidity, and uh, atmospheric pressure. We also have uh, the uh, input uh, analog input values coming from the LDR and the potentiometer displayed on the web page. A quick look at the C++ code. Here we include the library for the BME280. We declare a, an object BME and indicate how the module is interfaced using I2C. So the clock is connected to pin 26 of the controller and the data is connected to pin 27. Within the setup function, we initialize the BME280 uh, which has an address of uh, hexadecimal 76. And then we check the status uh, of the module, whether it's available or not. If it's available, then the program will proceed. Within the loop function, we take measurements from the BME280 sensor by storing the temperature into a string, and then the humidity into another string, and then the pressure. Next, we take uh, measurements from the analog inputs by storing the potentiometer uh, input into a string and then the LDR input into another string. We then add all of these measurements and store it into, uh, in a JSON format and then send the JSON text uh, using the WebSocket. The code for the web page is shown here which is made of three parts, the CSS part, the HTML part and the JavaScript part. And to better understand how the code was written, I recommend that you go back and watch my previous videos where I give a detailed explanation. And now for a quick demonstration, we can use the selection tab to select either temperature, humidity or pressure. We apply light to the LDR sensor and see the effect on the LDR readings. Next we change the potentiometer value and observe the voltage readings on the web page. Stay tuned for more WebSocket projects using the ESP32 controller. Thank you for watching.